So this video is picking up where, uh, a little bit later than where the other one left off. In the first video, we were drawing all of these pieces. And I'm going to leave that part up to you. I've also finished that part off where I select all of the different nodes. I'll show you quickly here an example of that. You click on your piece, path, object to path, which I've already done. Take your node selection tool and then you can move these around to fit where you want them to fit. So all of these green dots have been moved to give this shape, um, the helicopter shape that we're looking for. So in the next set of instructions, it's going to ask you to start to combine some of these shapes together. Notice in this example, we still have all the lines separating all the different shapes that we drew. And then very quickly, they all become one body piece. So I'm going to show you how to do that step. So I like to do this piece by piece because if there is an issue, we will see it as we go. So what I'm going to do is select the tail. I'm going to hold down my shift key and then select the long horizontal part of the tail. So now I've got both of these selected. I'm going to choose path and union. And what that does is it takes those two separate pieces that are sitting on top of each other and makes them one piece. Now if I turn that into a node tool, I can see all of my nodes and I can edit them individually, but I'm not going to do that anymore. So I'm now going to take this piece that I have selected, I'm going to hold down shift, and then take the next main part of the body, and I'll repeat that same process, path, union. And you'll see now this all has become one piece. So I can continue with that process, selecting a different piece each time. And it should allow us to take that all the way to create one large piece of helicopter. There we go. So now I'm at this point. So here again, it asks us to create a few more shapes. I'm going to make some adjustments. See, we're going to vary the shape of these pieces. I'm going to add a couple of squares for my window. And again, I'll use the same tool or the same pattern. I make the object a path and then move the windows around. And then again, it asks us just to add a few more pieces in terms of detail. So I'm not going to show you how to add those other pieces. You can do that easily enough. It's just a matter of drawing shapes and putting them together. I am going to pick this up right about here though and show you some tips and tricks on how to draw these curved lines and how to put shadow and glow or bright reflection on some of your components. That will be in video number three.